welcome to a new video. My name is Lacey, this is Bells and Disney, and today I'm gonna to be doing a pre-travel haul. So we do have a trip coming up very soon to Disney World, and I'm going to be showing you all the things that we have purchased leading up to the trip, whether it's to help us travel, or things we will need while we're there, or Christmassy items. We are gonna be there during Christmas week, so you're gonna see quite a bit of those type of things in this video. And without further ado, let's just get straight into the things that we have purchased for this trip. Okay, so the first thing I wanna show you are the two parkish items is what I would call them. We do have a new set of ears. I bought these for my daughter and these are the turning red ears. So they have Panda May and Cumin Maylin and um, these are from the turning red movie. My daughter loves the turning red movie. She wants to wear ears but like she'll definitely get tired of them two hours into the park. So I'll let her wear them if she wants to but I know I might be carrying them around quite a bit. But anyways these are really cute. I love the like fuzzy bow on them and it says panda and power on the headband we need to do something about this crazy long tag but these are for her she got them for her birthday and she can wear them in the parks on our next trip if she wants to next i have a new magic band so i bought this for myself because i really wanted something that said pass holder on it and this also has figment on it which i love we did let our annual passes expire this time around which was very difficult for us because it was the first time we had been pass holders and they're not selling them right now. So I was reluctant to get rid of it, but I still have something that says pass holder and it also has the year on it, which is pretty cool. So I'm really excited about this and it's not very Christmassy, but I am hoping to wear it on my next trip. Okay, next I'm gonna segue into clothes, but I am going to start with a pair of shoes. So I did want a new pair of shoes for this trip. My other two pairs are starting to show signs of wear and I have already started wearing these, which is why you You'll notice they're a little dirty already but it's always a good idea to break in your shoes before you go to Disney World but these are the Nike Tangent I believe is what it's called shoe and I love them I love the look of these I love the rose gold check on them and they are very comfortable the only thing is this particular pair seems a little tighter on the top of my foot than my last pair did but hopefully if I wear these a little bit more before our trip they'll break in a little bit more and not be so tight on the top but I do love them they're very comfortable and I think they look nice and yeah so these are the shoes that I like to wear in the parks okay next I'm going to show you the clothes that we purchased for my daughter and I am going to show you a swimsuit that's the first thing I'm going to show you in a Christmas pre-travel haul but anyways so this is a stitch swimsuit and it went on clearance a little while back on shop Disney so I went ahead and purchased it I haven't even told her yet that I bought this for her so it's a little two-piece there's the bottoms right there, and then the top has this little tie. It's just really cute. And we are hoping to get a little bit of swim time in while we're there. We'll see. It just kind of depends on the weather. Even if it's as high as 50 degrees outside, our daughter's going to want to swim. But I think that might be where we draw the line. <laughs> so um, we'll see about this. But I think she'll be really excited when she sees this. And hopefully it fits. It's a 7 8. She's 8 years old. So we'll see. Next, I bought her this pair of pajama pants from Target. And these come from a family set. So this is the pants right here. I actually have a pair of these from a few years back that look very similar um, my husband doesn't like long sweatpants like this so he'll be the only one who doesn't have some of these but she's already worn these once they're way too big on her but that's okay because they're pajamas anyway and it's absolutely fine with me that these will last a, a couple of years at least so yeah I had to buy her those when they were so very inexpensive on Target's website all right I pulled this item out of the laundry and it needs to be washed so I haven't done that yet but I also got this from Target and it's also for my daughter so it's this they call him Sandy Claus shirt which she's already gotten some kind of spaghetti sauce or something on there <laughs> but I mean it's a white shirt and this shirt is also way too big for her so that's part of the reason like it's kind of baggy but uh, yeah, there's some more spaghetti sauce up on here. But um, yeah, we just decided to get her a couple of Christmas sweatshirts. She does love The Nightmare Before Christmas and Jack Skellington, so we couldn't resist this one for her. Next, this one came from Kohl's, and we actually bought this, I wanna say in the summer or like towards the earlier part of the year. Yeah, it was before our April trip because we were actually looking for spring break, but we saw this one and we had to grab it. So this one also just came out of the laundry. I need to throw it back in there, so if you see stains or dirt. I 
promise I am going to wash it, but this is a Stitch Christmas shirt, and like I said, our daughter loves Stitch, and it's perfect. This one actually came from a thrift store, so it was a very inexpensive purchase, and this is another Christmas Stitch shirt, so it says nice until proven naughty. We have had so much good luck with finding amazing Christmas shirts for our daughter at thrift stores, and it's perfect because they're inexpensive, and she grows out of them so fast. We were excited about that find as well. And then here's another new shirt from Target. This is a simple one. It just has Minnie Mouse on it and says Merry and Bright. So that was a cute one. We couldn't resist when we saw it in Target. Now I'm gonna show you the shirts that I got for me. I needed some Christmas shirts for our trip because I just didn't like the ones that I had previously and now I have too many. We will just get started with this one. This is from either Box Lunch or Hot Topic, but it's the Guardians of the Galaxy characters, but they're in like gingerbread cookie shapes. So the new Cosmic Rewind ride opened after our most recent trip. So we haven't ridden that yet. So I'm hoping to wear this in Epcot. This one came from Etsy and it might be my favorite one. It's a comfort color shirt and it has a red truck on it with a tree in it. And that's like my favorite thing ever. <laughs> but it says Farm Fresh Christmas Trees, Mickey's Tree Farm, which I'm obsessed with that. And what does this say down here? Complimentary hot cocoa and beignets, yum. <laughs> So anyways, I love this design and I'm hoping to wear this at some point on the trip. I don't know exactly which park or what day yet, but I love it. That one came from Etsy, by the way. I can't remember if I mentioned that. This is another one that I bought last year and this one came from either Hot Topic or Box Lunch. I can't remember if I bought it right before our last Christmas trip or right after, but I didn't get a chance to wear it at least. And that is this princess designed to dazzle. It has Belle and Moana on it, which are two of my favorite princesses. My other favorite is Rapunzel, which didn't make the cut for this sweater. But if it gets cold, I have a nice big sweatshirt I can throw on over my t-shirt. This was a thrift store find. I found this baseball style t-shirt and it says not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse with a little Santa hat on it. So the embroidery on this is causing this shirt to like pucker quite a bit. So I'm hoping that I can just like iron that down a little bit and it won't like stick up in this weird shape so much. So we'll see, but nothing really lost if this doesn't work out because we paid like two bucks for this shirt. So I'm pretty excited about this find. I thought this would be a good one for sitting in the car because I do think this might be a little bit big for me. Yeah, this one might be just a tad large for me. So I thought it would be comfortable just sitting in the car. We do drive to Disney World. It's a 12 hour drive. So comfort is of great importance to us when we're in the car. Next, I have a spirit jersey that I wanted last year, but they were sold out by the time we got there. And I found it on Depop after the fact or Macari, one of them. Um, I paid way too much for it. It's a sore subject in this house, but it is the Olaf spirit jersey from Festival of the Holidays from last year. So the bottom half of it is this like super soft and fuzzy material and then the top is just regular spirit jersey material. So it does say Festival of the Holidays 2021 and on the back it says it's that time of year which I believe is from the Frozen Olaf Christmas special. It's been a while since we have actually watched that but Oh, there's also a little Spaceship Earth on it as well. Do you see that in there? So yeah, I really love this. It's so soft and I love the color. So I'm hoping I can wear this at some point on our trip as well. Next, I have a thrift store find and that is another large sweatshirt. What size is this? Yeah, this is also gonna be kind of large on me, but I like sweatshirts to be large because I don't like, like feeling constricted by a thick sweatshirt. You know what I mean? <laughs> so anyways, it is just this cute little Mickey Mouse lounging upon this Christmas tree. It's pretty simple. Found it for very inexpensive. Another one I think I could wear in the car if it gets cold or like on the way back instead of the way down. So either way, I'm excited to have another sweatshirt to throw on if it's chilly outside for very inexpensive. Next, I wanted an Animal Kingdom shirt and I found this one on Etsy, super cute. I haven't even tried this on yet. It looks like it might be kind of large on me, but that's okay. So this is actually the Tree of Life and the original, I guess, Animal Kingdom logo. So it has the lion and the elephant and the gazelle type thing here, but it also has a dinosaur and a dragon because Animal Kingdom is meant to have a little bit of fantasy mixed in with it as well, at least originally. And now it does have Pandora. So that's kind of like the fantasy element of it, but it says rocking around the Christmas 
Christmas tree and then the tree is also kind of decorated with Christmas lights. I thought that this would be a really cheaply made shirt. I wasn't expecting it to be great whenever I purchased it, but I actually kind of like it. It's like digitally printed on there. So yeah, I'm excited to wear this on our Animal Kingdom day. One last shirt for me, and that is this Bell Christmas shirt. I couldn't resist because it says, all I want for Christmas is a library. <laughs> and it has Bell on it with some books. And I don't know if you could tell, but I'm kind of into books. In fact, I have an entire YouTube channel where all I do is talk about books. So if you are interested in watching that, there is a link in the description box down below. But yeah, I just couldn't resist this Christmassy one as well. Don't know what day or what park I'll wear it, but I'm excited about it. Another shirt that I purchased in my size, but it's just like quite large, so. We'll see. Okay, so next I have just a couple of like techie items that we're gonna take with us. So we do take our camera into the parks and kind of try to vlog our trips a little bit to have some of the memories for ourselves. but we also upload them here, of course. And I'm gonna show you a couple of things that we bought for the camera. First of all, we finally bought a new camera strap. This is something that I have been wanting ever since we bought this camera because our camera strap that came with it was thin and short and very uncomfortable to wear around your neck. This one's a little thin as well, I would say, but definitely more comfortable than the last one that we have but the reason that it's not on the camera is because we also bought another accessory for the camera and we had to kind of like sacrifice this for it and that is the crane m3 so this is a gimbal crane and we just got this it's very expensive but we actually managed to snag a little bit of a black friday deal on it so we were excited about that we went ahead and caved and got it i'll show a little b-roll of the crane itself we have tried to use it once and it seems like it's going to be a little bit of a learning curve for us so we are gonna have to do some practice with it and hopefully we have it down a little bit by the time that we go <laughs> so anyways we couldn't make the camera strap work with this also on the camera so we're gonna see about potentially getting one of those quick release straps not sure yet but it's definitely like one of those really exciting new techie toys that you want to play with so we're excited about it we just aren't good at it quite yet all right so next i'm going to show you the christmasy items so we do like to kind of decorate our hotel room for christmas we bought a tree we have always put like a smallish tree in our room but we actually bought like a full-size tree this year so i'm going to show that right now via b-roll and and we have it all boxed up we did test it to make sure that the lights work and that we like it and we do we also wanted to make sure we had enough disney ornaments that we could take with us which we also do so we're excited about this tree and it's kind of a skinnier tree so hopefully it's not like super bulky in the hotel room and also the box is just big enough that i'm a little nervous about having it in our car for the way down but Fingers crossed, it's gonna be good. So we're excited about it nonetheless. Another Christmassy item that we bought, not necessarily for the trip, but I still wanna show it um, because we will take them with us, is our new Christmas stockings. So there's one for each of us. I went with Minnie Mouse for me, and I love these like knit sweater feel to them and also like this like ugly Christmas sweater almost look to them down here. And then I got a Mickey Mouse one for my husband. And then our daughter loves Stitch, like I've mentioned, so she got a Stitch one. We also got a few ornaments I want to show you via B-roll. We found a set of six little Mickey Mouse shaped Christmas ornaments and they are quite small. I wish they were a lot larger, but that's okay. I love them. I wish we had like a hundred of these to just decorate the tree with, but this pack just had six of them and I think that they're so cute and glittery and I love the Mickey Mouse shape of them. And I I also want to show you this 50th anniversary ornament that Hallmark had. It is of the 50th anniversary castle. It sings and maybe lights up. We never have put batteries in it, I don't think, but it's one we also could not resist. And we do have a lot more Disney ornaments on our Christmas tree. That is a video that I will be doing an entire video just about decorating our Christmas tree in the hotel room, so stay tuned for those. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the travel essentials. We've bought a few new bags and also some like car activities because, like I said, we will be in the car for quite some time. So I'm to show you those first. So we always hit up Ollie's right before a trip to get some car activity books for our daughter and they're a lot less expensive obviously than Target. So the first one that we have here is 
a Disney Pixar Onward Look and Find book. Also looks like it has a poster in here, which is cute, but it just has miscellaneous little activities and they're all themed to Onward. I guess I could set this down. I'm sure she'll have this one done within about 30 minutes, but it's at least something for her to do. So next we have this Funky Monkeys coloring book, which she got super excited about when she saw it, but it has miscellaneous monkeys, apes, gorillas, and some other animals in here as well. So this will be a nice activity for her to color in the car. Also for the car, we always go with colored pencils. So we decided to do these twistable ones. This is a pack of 30, so it should have a good variation of color in them. And um, yeah, we'll see how these end up doing. We always do pencils because the crayons melt, of course, and we're just not here for markers in the car. So uh, we do colored pencils. So here is a Toy Story 4 book. It says three books in one, color and trace, coloring and color by number. So let's just do a quick flip through this. There's also some stickers in here. Oh yeah, there's like some tracing sheets in the back here that you can like trace to draw the characters or whatever. And then here's some color by numbers in the back as well. We got this puzzle activity book, including spot the difference, mazes, dots to dots, and drawing. So just again, miscellaneous activities for her to do and color while we're in the car. So here is a Star Wars book. She does love Star Wars and Darth Vader. So I'm sure she was um, drawn in by this big Darth Vader right on the front here, but another sticker book with other activities in it. Looks like a good little mix of activities in this one and that you can put the stickers in some of these scenes like this one I suppose so that's really cool and lastly is another Star Wars book so this one's like the onward one I believe it's a look and find activity book so it shows you the items to look for in the scene and then you look for them so yeah another great book for her to do in the car okay so now I'm going to show you a few of the um I guess like travel essentials, like travel sized items. And then I have a few bags to show you as well. So I have three loofahs here. These were a dollar each. We like to just get these cheap loofahs, pack them with us. And at the end of our trip, we just throw them away. So we don't have to worry about having wet loofahs in the car with us or trying to pack them into our bags and stuff. So yeah, um, these are just in the travel section at Target. So we just all got different colors. So we wouldn't get confused and we're ready to go. Next, my husband purchased some very cheap, I guess you could say, uh, razor blades, just a pack of them so he can throw them away at the end of the trip or whenever he's done using them. And then I also went with some wet ones. I like to keep these in my purse for my daughter's hands, especially after eating or my hands, whatever, mouth, whatever it may be, um, just to like have something that's already wet to wipe down, maybe even the tables or whatever. So I always pack those. And then I also wanted to try some travel size shaving cream. So I don't think that pomegranate raspberry is really my thing, but they didn't have very many options in the travel section. So this is what we're going to try. And I always get a small thing of Cetaphil face wash just to wash off my makeup at the end of every day. And then my husband picked up some face lotion, which I noticed when we got home that this cap does not like snap closed, which is awesome when you're trying to pack lotion into your bag. <laughs> so we may need to secure this one with a Ziploc bag or something. Okay, next I'm going to show you the bags like I mentioned we do have a few here I want to show you. First is this camera bag. It's a backpack and I just love how sleek it is. It has so many compartments and stuff without being like bulky and ugly. So it's possible that we could eventually put a Disney sticker or patch or something on here at some point. But this isn't something that's going to like go in the parks with us or anything. It's just a place for us to put our laptop and all of our camera accessories while we're traveling. So it does have pockets on either side. It also has straps at the bottom if you needed to secure some kind of tripod to it. And then I'll open it up to show you the inside as well. So I love how it's bright orange. Our other one is black and it's hard to tell what's what. So this has a nice little mesh net pocket right here so you can see what you've put inside that. And then we also have some dividers in here that you can decide how big or small you want each of these compartments to be. So I love that about it. And then it also has a compartment right here in the back for your laptop to just slide into. So I love this. I wanted to have one place we could put all of our electronics, even maybe our chargers and stuff, just so we know where all of it is and it's nice and safe and together. So 
I'm very happy about this purchase. This came from Amazon and it was a relatively good price. I want to say like 40 bucks or something like that. Next I have some travel bags. So I ended up purchasing some more of these little organizers, I guess you could say. I went with clear so I could see what all's inside them, but they're all three the exact same. I bought a three pack, but yeah, they're just like kind of small, but you can put toiletries or whatever else you want to in here. It's see-through so you can see what is inside of it. I might actually use a couple of these in my lounge fly. I know they have those lounge fly dividers, but I don't think that I like them, even though I've never tried one. I don't think it's for me. So I like the idea of having things organized in these bags and I can just pull out and see what's in it. So I did get a three pack of those. And then I also bought two of these laundry bags. I thought this would be good to just throw all of our dirty clothes in. And then when we get home, we can just throw the entire bag basically into the laundry. And they are quite large actually. So I bought a two two pack here. I don't even know if we'll fill up one whole bag, but they do fold up nicely. So I'm going to show you how large it is. I mean, right? <laughs> so it says wash me on there, which I love. So we can just throw all of our dirty clothes in here at the end of every day or whatever. And then when we get home from our trip, just throw it in the laundry. We may do laundry while we're there, not 100% sure. We don't have laundry in our actual room, but Saratoga Springs is where we're staying and they do have laundry services there, of course. So it does fold up nicely when you're not using it, but I was very surprised by how large this was. And lastly, I'm so excited about this. Basically, I wanted a Vera Bradley bag. So we're actually doing quite a bit of traveling before our Disney trip. And it's all gonna be one night stays at various places. So basically I just wanted a small bag for like a one night stay. And that's what this is called. It's called a weekender bag. So it's kind of like a bag you would pack for a weekend away. So that's kind of why I bought it. I love this size. It's exactly what I wanted. And also it has this Disney print on it. And I found this on sale. I was very excited about it but it has Mickey and Minnie on it and Daisy and Donald. It has pockets on the inside. It has these two straps, of course, but also a large like over the shoulder strap. And I'm just very excited about this. All right, guys, that's it for this extremely large pre-travel haul, things we purchased for the trip. And I'm very excited to see what we end up coming home with after our trip as well. So there will be a video showcasing all of that. And of course, vlogs coming up. Our next video will be a pack and prep with us. So I'm very excited about that. I love packing for trips. I feel like that's an unpopular opinion, but I love packing. <laughs> and uh, that will be the next video that comes out. And then we will also have travel days and then park vlogs, resort days, all that's coming very soon. So be sure to subscribe to see all that. Thanks guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.